Hola guys, I hope you all are fine and doing well. So I am back with the another few lessons of the FBA and this is gonna to be most probably the last video because in this video I am gonna to cover all those five lessons plus one special lesson. If you are wondering what is a special lesson, let me tell you that the special lesson will determine that whether you are gonna to get the golden certificate, silver certificate or any other certificate. So without any ado, let's quickly start with the another lesson that's lesson 412 workplace challenges. If you can open your activity book, that will be, I think, more suitable at, as you will be able to find out that what I'm saying exactly. So lesson 412, you can see there are a few questions. Put an exclamation mark for the right attitude and hashtag for the wrong attitude at work. Quite easy when happy to help others. It's a right attitude. Complain and blame others. It's a wrong attitude. This is the simple thing. In second one also, you have to do the same thing. Put an exclamation mark for the right effort and hashtag for the wrong effort. It's easy. For the third one is also customer service. Nothing more. Fourth one is same. Teamwork. Then you are supposed to do the recap where you will discuss about the three questions. Are you a part of the problem or solution? So means, are you the person who creates the problem or are you the kind of person who always solve the problem? You have to think about it. Think in advance because these kind of question, now, it takes so many conceptual things, conceptual things. So I hope that you will be able to find out the answers. On the spot, it would be quite tricky. So that's why I'm saying that. Think about the answers in the advance. Second one, when faced with a problem, do you react or respond? I hope that you all know the difference between reaction or respond. We have done it so many times in the intermediate level. Third one, while solving problems, do you use upstairs or downstairs brain? Brain. Whatever facilitator told us that upstairs brain means are you using your brain or downstairs brain means you are using your subconscious brain. So you can say that mind or hurt also. Like while solving the problem, do you use your mind or do you go ahead with your hurt? That can also be. Part C is all about connectives. So if you have to add any point, so you can say in addition to, moreover, besides, furthermore, on top of that as well. So you are just read, supposed to read the connective and if you know more connectives, you are supposed to write another con connectives in the given space. D, workplace challenges. Use the connective given in the part C to discuss the following workplace challenges. So while you were discuss these six questions, you are supposed to use those connectives which we have read in the part C. I hope it's quite easy one. In the lessons, there is nothing more that I should explain you. You all know this thing. Virtual career counseling. So this is the virtual career counseling. There will be two calls of this virtual career counseling where there will be a counselor, career counselor. I think you all remember the mentorship session now where we have a mentor. So this time we will have a counselor and that counselor will explain us to go ahead how to opt the right career for ourselves, how to take the different streams after 10th or after 12th. And if you have any career related query and you missed out somehow to ask those query with your mentor, so you can definitely ask to her career counselor. And before this session, like before the virtual career counseling one, before that, there will be a special lesson where you are supposed to write down the career from A to Z. So you will write A. So from A, how many careers you can remember? At air hostess, you can remember. Aerospace engineering, you can remember. So like this. After that, from B, from C, from D, from E, like that, you will write out till Z. After that, the virtual career counseling will, one will happen where she will tell you about the, mean the career counselor will tell you about the FEA graduate website from where you can definitely take out the help. After that, uh, she will tell you about the another applications like Internshala, Buddy for Study app. She, uh, the career counselor will tell you that if you have any query, you can ask out to FEA career counselors also, like four or five contact number you will get. You will get the email ID also of the career counseling center of the FEA. So if you have any query, just drop down a text or just drop down an email and they will be get back to you. So this is also one very good thing if you are really stuck in opting your future career. So you can go ahead and ask them. There will be only two calls of it. So that's fine. Ne next one is debate. Very good one. Like I literally love this lesson. It has been a great. So you will firstly discuss about the differences 
between discussion and debate what are the key characteristics which differentiate these two terms then in the part b it's written that you will do this debate in pair so two people will do the debate together topics are already mentioned there that's the only thing you will do the debate over on this thing and in this last few days you will have a option to repeat your one lesson so it's completely up to you your facilitator will ask to you that which is the one lesson you want to do it again so you can say our session said that we want to do debate again so we have done that so as per your session demand the one another session of your favorite topic will happen next one is growth mindset there is nothing more to explain you growth mindset it's the last lesson i think i have missed conflict resolution if i'm not wrong hmm this is conflict resolution we will have so conflict resolution you can see there are five ways to resolve the conflict avoid compete compromise accommodate collaborate so there are questions already mentioned there and these question we are going to discuss in the group discussion only and there will be a video also which you are supposed to watch so all the things are mentioned there i don't think so that i have to explain you anything further more so just make sure that you know the difference between all these terms avoid compete compromise accommodate collaborate and questions are already written so i don't have to say anything this is the very 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 special lesson which is not mentioned in the student activity book so this lesson will happen after the lesson named conflict resolution i have told about this lesson on my telegram also that what will exactly happen in this lesson so finally i am making the video i thought rather than making a separate video let's cover it in this video only so special lesson it's a very 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 important lesson where you will be about to share your mooc presentation mooc means massive open online course so in this video basically not in video in this lesson you are supposed to share your mooc presentation i think you remember that we have done two mooc two mooc the first one was public speaking and the second one was creative writing the craft of plot so you can Uh, share the understanding of any one mooc out of these two or if you wish you can combine the understanding of both the moocs and then share what you have to speak on that day i have already uploaded the content video that what i have spoken on that day when i was supposed to give my mooc presentation i had given my i had shared my understanding over the public speaking mooc so if you also want to give the understanding or share the understanding on the same topic on the same mooc you can definitely go ahead with my content video the link i will drop down in the description as well as in the comment section also in the pinned comment i will drop down the link of that video so i hope that will video will be helpful for you so you can be prepared for it and why this lesson is very very important because the mooc presentation will determine that whether you are going to get the golden certificate silver certificate certificate of completion or only certificate of attendance if your mooc presentation is highly good as well as your attendance is also good then you will high probability that you will get the golden certificate only two people can get the golden certificate maximum two people and maximum three people can get the silver certificate so that's why this lesson is very 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 crucial and i will highly advise you to be present on this day as this lesson is not going to repeat for any one of you if you are absent you will miss the chance to win the golden certificate you will automatically out of the race from the golden as well as from the silver certificate so that's the thing nothing more after that the growth mindset lesson will happen so growth mindset there are six question you can see who am i so you have to find out the answers of it if i am not wrong the first one answer is mahatma gandhi the lawyer failed to establish a practice in bombay when he couldn't bring himself to cross exam in a witness in court yeah the answer is mahatma gandhi second one is uh, the writer of harry potter who was it uh jk rolling if i'm not wrong that the answer is that uh third one if i'm not wrong that's nawazuddin siddiqui yeah i am not sure about the third one i think but as for me it was nawazuddin siddiqui fourth one you all know that 10000 attempts who took thomas alva edison edison while he was making the bulb thomas alva edison not edition edison i always be confused and make the pronunciation mistake in sa and sh pardon me for it Fifth one, American basketball player. I don't remember yet. <laughs> Sixth one, in his first few years as company. I think Ratan Tata was the answer, but you can check it out definitely. And 
in this lesson you will definitely only discuss about the growth mindset at the end you are supposed to write a story which show the growth mindset as per you so few people have wrote the very beautiful stories you are supposed to write the story in the group so no worries you can discuss on the spot itself nothing more last lesson is culmination the video is already 10 minute long let me share the culmination also because if i will make this separate video over it there will be no use so for the next 5 or 6 minute just listen in this video only so there are few question you can see they are not going to ask this question to you as culmination event is not going to happen like it can happen in your session but in my session it doesn't happen but yeah we were that black cap and we click so many pics we have give the feedback also to everyone in the session that was a very 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 great day and memorable day because we had a fun we had fun a lot these question in our session we haven't discussed about these question as the culmination event our ma'am said that our facilitator said that it will happen after few days so we didn't get certificates yet uh, and she had emailed that how many certificates we want so the certificate we will get in the physical mode only so after few days we will be called on the branch again and after that our culmination event will happen so nothing more but you can share your heartfelt feeling that how are you feeling and what are the thing and on the culmination day you will get to know that who is going to get the golden certificate who is going to get the silver certificate so everything you will be getting to know on the culmination day on the last day of your free highly suggesting you to be present because if you are not present on this day you are not going to get the certificate this is our facility diwali celebration is still going on in my area no worries ignore the background voice what i was saying i forget uh, so yeah you have to be present in that day so it's the last day so i hope that you all will be present there is no way of taking the leave on the last day of your one year amazing journey and after that i wish make the video how to become a volunteer do let me know in the comment section that how many of you really want to become a volunteer or if you are planning to become a facilitator also do let me know in the comment section with this we are done with this video have a great day ahead